Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss further into trigonometry and look at these uh, these sine squared of negative x, cosine squared of negative x, and tan of squared of negative x identities. Basically, go over these proof proofs of these. I was asked about these earlier, so I thought I might as well do a video on it. And basically, show that whenever you have this, whenever you have these sine, cos, or tan squared, when it's negative x, it's the same thing as positive x inside. So it just means it's an even function. They're all even functions, so it doesn't matter if you go left to right. It's the same uh, function, um, same value. So to proving this one, basically what we're going to first do is recall the basic trig identities, which I went over in my earlier videos. You can see that in the video link below. Identity. So recall the, the basic trig identities, sine of uh, negative x is equal to negative sine of x. So this just means this is an odd function, meaning it's uh, the negative side is just going to be negative value of the positive side. And I'll graph this out later on in the video. And then the other identity, cosine of negative x is equal to positive cosine of x right here. So it does not change the value right here. This is an even function. This just means the same value when it's positive or negative x right here. So if we use those, let's do the first one. So thus we have uh, the square of sine negative x. Again, recall that this, the way you write this is the same thing as squaring the whole function. So the next sine of negative x squared. This is just an easier, neater way of writing it. Writing this is pretty much what this means if you're not sure exactly. So basically you have this and now we could just well plug in that identity right here. So this equals to negative sine of x all squared. And then when you ever square something the negative just cancels out. It's negative 1 times negative 1 is just positive 1. So this just equals to sine of x squared. So we've proven our identity in this one right at uh, right in the method we're more common, uh, commonly known to use, basically sine squared of negative x equals to sine of x uh, squared. So just write it like that. So there's the first identity. It's the exact same thing over there. And now the second one we have, so thus, and now we have cosine squared of negative x equals to, same thing as above, write this as cosine of negative x all squared. This equals 2. Plug in the identity just equals to itself. Or just a positive sign. So cosine of uh, x right here all squared. And this one is, you could just write this, uh, yeah, so basically this is the same answer. That's our identity. And now we could just write it in uh, the method we're more commonly uh, using which is just the cosine, put the square here instead of all around it. So there is the second identity, let's write this neater. And then the third one, we just use these two identities to solve it. So we have 10 squared of negative x is equal to, remember the uh, definition of tangent, this is just, let's write this, you will write this with a uh, lowercase t. So tan squared negative x, this equals to, like I showed the definition, is just going to be sine over cosine. So this is just going to be sine squared negative x over cosine squared negative x. And now we just apply these identities and they just equal to sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. And this just equals to, well, that's just tan squared of x without the negative sign. So we finally have tan negative x equals 2 uh, tan of positive x. Let's write this a uh, bit neater. And there is our last identity. Uh, whoops, forgot to add the square there. So there's the squared like that. And now if we look at the graphs of these, well, let's look at the first one. So if we have this graph x, y, this is going to be, yeah, let's graph the sine function. So the sine function looks something like this. And as you can see, this is the sine of x. 
whenever it, on the right side is positive, then on the left, same left side you're going to have a negative value. Then when you get to a positive, you get to a negative. So as you can see, sine of x is just equal to negative sine of negative x. So whenever the value is negative, the value of sine goes negative as well. So it just flips. So this is an odd function. So whenever it's negative here, because we're squaring it, we have to make it positive. And since we're squaring it, it's actually get, it's a more steep curve like that. It goes something like this, and then it goes positive up. So it's always positive etc and it goes like this I'll draw this a bit neater okay so it goes like that so it's always positive this is our sine squared of x since it's always positive and the other sine of x was a, even it was an odd function but then we're just making this even so this is the same thing right or left side so it's positive this positive 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 right here so this just means sine squared of negative x. So the left side is equal to the right side. And now same thing for to graph the cosine of x. Cosine is just a shifted uh, sine of x. It looks something like this. This one, let's make it appear the same. So it's, uh, it's the same right or left. This is positive, positive. Um, this is negative, negative. So this is our cosine of x. So it's symmetric with the y-axis. So left side is equal to the right side, so this equals to cosine negative x, like that. And now when we graph our cosine squared, it's just going to be the same thing as before, just a more steep, uh, same uh, same idea, except, yeah, actually, whoops, except it's always positive here. So this side here becomes positive, and then this goes up like that. I'll just, yeah, just draw it a bit better like this. So it's positive, positive, and then the right side is the same exactly. So it's a steeper curve because of the squared, and whenever it's negative, it goes to positive. Because you're squaring it. So it's something like that. I'll just draw this a bit better. This goes up and it reaches the value 1. So it goes something like that. Just mind my bad drawing. And this is our cosine squared of x. And again, this just equals 2. The left side is equal to the right side. So equals 2 cosine squared negative x. And the last function I'm going to go over is basically the sine, I mean the tangent. And recall tangent curves like this, where this is at pi over 2. That's an asymptote line. And it goes negative across here. And then just repeats the same pattern over and over again. So it goes something like that. So this is our tan. Uh, this is our tan of x. And as you can see here, tan of x is just going to be, well, the same thing is going to be equal to actually uh, tan of negative x. I mean, it, with a negative sign. This is, an e, this is an odd function, so you could use that identity as well. Because as you can see, it goes negative here, positive here, positive and on this side, negative here. So there's that pattern. And finally, now when we graph the the squared, and this the squared goes up faster rate, it goes up like that faster, and it's always positive. So when it's negative, it goes positive, positive, and then same thing, higher curve, higher like that. I'm just drawing it uh, just for just pretty roughly, but it just yeah, that's how it kind of looks like. This is our tan squared of x is equals two. Well, tan. Uh, squared negative x because the right side is equal to the left side because you're always making it positive. Anyways, that is all for today. Hopefully, you'll learn from this uh, pretty, pretty straightforward proof video of these identities. And I just wanted to go over the graphs just in detail, but the proof of these identities is pretty straightforward. You just apply the these basic identities and you can solve them. Anyways, that's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another. Math easy so